My name is Oliver Grauser and I'm from Vienna, Austria. I have studied economics and I have read about 40 books about investing and want to be such a successful investor as you have been. Mr. Buffett and Mr. Manga, when both of you were younger and had much less capital for investing, how many, uh, no, which publications were the best to get a few excellent investment ideas to be so successful? And how many hours per week on average did you spend with reading about companies? Thank you. Well, when we were younger, we spent, um, probably Charlie compared to now, spent a lot more time, I spent a fair amount more time uh, looking at companies. Uh, but we would, we would, we, if we were doing it over again, we would do it over again pretty much the same way. Uh, we would look at everything in sight that we thought we could understand. And uh, uh, it, the world hasn't changed in that respect. There may be some more people doing it, but there, there are a lot more companies to look at now. Uh, and we would, uh, we would read everything in sight about the businesses and the industries we thought we could understand. We would look for things that, that jumped out at us as as being very cheap in relation to the value, and we would have one enormous advantage because we would be working with far less capital, which means the universe of potential ideas would be would be far greater. Uh, but there's no, there's nothing different, in my view, about analyzing securities now than there was 50 years ago. Uh, Charlie? Yeah, we, we read a lot and we thought a lot. Uh, I don't know anybody who is wise who doesn't read a lot. And uh, on the other hand, that, that alone won't do it. You have to have a, a, a temperament, really, which, which, which uh, grabs the correct ideas and, and does something with those ideas. And uh, I think most people who read a lot don't have the necessary temperament. And, they grab the ideas or they're simply confused by the mass of material. And of course that won't work. Yeah, there's probably something, Phil Cray used to talk about having a money mind, or, and I would call it a business mind. And you know, there are people that are better with you know, identical IQs that are, that are better adapted for one than the other. And, uh, and the temperament is all important. I mean, if, if you can't control yourself, uh, no matter what the intellect you bring to the pro process, you know you're going, you're going to have a, you're going to have disasters. And Charlie and I have seen one after another. That uh, uh, it's it's not a business that requires uh, extraordinary intellect. Uh, it does require extraordinary discipline, and uh, uh, that shouldn't be so difficult. But as I look around the world, sometimes. Uh, it, it, apparently is quite difficult. I mean, the whole world went a little mad a few years back in terms of investments, and, and uh, you say to yourself, how could that happen? Don't they learn anything from the earlier ones? But, but you know, what we learn from history is that people don't learn from history, and uh, you certainly see that in financial markets uh, all the time. The, incidentally, you mentioned books. Charlie, did, you didn't recommend any books this year? Well, one book I really like I couldn't buy because it's published only in England, but it'll get here in due course. And that's called Deep Simplicity by John Gribben. It's a perfectly marvelous book. And of course, that's a great title, Deep Simplicity. Uh, that's what we're all looking for. <laughs> I've been reading a short history of nearly everything. And uh, it, 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 it is, it's very impressive to you know, to read about people pondering how to figure out the weight of the earth or something in the 18th century. And you would think minds that could do that would do, do very well in financial matters. But, you know, if you remember, Isaac Newton spent a significant part of his life trying to turn lead into gold. And uh, he might have made a good stockbroker, <laughs> but it didn't do much for him financially. He, Charlie knows more about Isaac than I do. Well, so. And he lost an enormous yeah, the bubble. chunk of his uh, net worth in the South Sea South. bubble. So he invested in an absolute crooked mania. 
And here was the smartest man in the world. So uh, just IQ points alone won't do it. Microphone.